Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the first time I've ordered from a Blink Note, so I'm really excited for this. And I didn't know that they were in Washington, so it's not that far from me in uh, the sense of coast. I'm on the West Coast, uh, kind of. And so it came rather quickly. And so I just really wanna get into this and share the contents with you. Right. So you may be able to tell from the shape of everything, but I definitely got some washi tape. So let's start off. Oh, I see, I see, okay. So this is the front, I opened it up backwards and that's really nice presentation. But let's start off with these. Just want to zoom in just a little. Okay. So, yes, I got some more washi tape because I feel like you can't have enough. And actually, to be uh, more precise, these are PET tapes, which, in my opinion, are a lot more fun than washi tapes. Um, so, I did get the peon uh, I think it's called she and um, this is this should be PET tape and uh, I really like the art of the girls and the kind of muted colors and then I got another one of the peon style so this one you can probably hear my kids in the background, sorry about that. But this one has a lot of like wildflowers and some um, swatches. This one is new to me brand mood tape, but it seems like a lot of home style type of images on here. And it is a lot wider and it does seem to have some type of decoration on the edges, but that's, it looks like it's further away from the images so I can cut out images if I need to so that I can really use the tape um, to its full extent by using just the individual images for whatever I choose. And then this one, I don't think this one is PET. I think this one is masking, but it's like a stamp. And I want to say that it would be easy to perforate if I wanted to, or just cut them. But I really liked how they had like the shape of a postage stamp. And that's one of the reasons why I gravitated towards this. Plus it's a dark background and I don't have a lot of tapes that are, uh, have a, unique like dark color in the background so i got the tapes excited to use those and then i got a stamp i thought i got more stamps but i guess i only decided on one. Oh yes that's right and this is a quote stamp the good old days and i felt like i could use that in just about any type of journaling and these are very nice and well made. It will definitely go in my stamp collection. Okay, on to the other items. The bulk of my order. Let's see. So I got a message from Blank Note. This is Nita and Season. Hello, Brittany. Thank you very much for shopping at a blank note. We're very excited to send all of these lovely new goodies your way. Wish they will bring lots of new inspiration to the new year. Yes. Oh, and they even included some washi uh, samples. Cool. And then I think they have some extra little fun images and like stationary bits in here that I can use in my TN. And they wrap this very well. And I think this goes with this book. 
Okay, so I did get a couple of flake stickers and these are by Papier, Papier, Papier Platts. Um, and there's 54 pieces and these are super tiny and I think that they will go on the, uh, your page clear or like have a clear background and they will kind of um, dissolve into the page in the sense of like you can't, it seems like it's part of the page. They're not really um, like lifted from the page. They kind of just blend in. And then I got the Kita tape and that is just to add to my lovely collection of Kita, which isn't so big actually. It's quite uh, small in my opinion. And the last Kita tape I got was from Yoseka, I believe. No, it was from Bomb Kuhin, and it was this one. And I just have them sitting right here in this little section for like my washi tape. So I can put some of the washi tape in here. Definitely not enough space for everything, but it will work for now. So let me zoom out just a little. And then I did want to get some of these stickers. They're so cute um, from Sotalier and they go just about anywhere. Since they're so small, you don't have to use them together. You can just use them separately. They will fit perfect in my Hobonichi Weeks. And um, with the way that I like to decorate my pages and just do a little bit of like adding some interest, I do like these little stickers. All right. Just a little card. So I was watching Those With Words uh, stream and she was working in the this notebook really really nice and I would definitely think I'm gonna cut out this image and use it oh cool so I get wait, this is interesting so this is something that they provide every month I don't know but I have two now so this is September and this is August is that when this released I don't know okay so this material is definitely different than um, your typical like plastic like uh, kind of more sharp plastic. This one's really soft, <laughs> just something I noticed. Okay, so this is the book. It is a plain planner. This is my first time. And uh, with this planner, I think it's called the Thinking of You Planner, right? Oh no, did I get this wrong? But I first saw this on Job's channel and um, I fell in love with it. I was like, oh, I'm going to get it for 2022. But then I had so many other planners that I had already decided to have that I held off on this. But then I saw it again and I was like, it's not too late, even though we're already in the first week of the year. Um, to me, it's not too late and I can start. So I got it and it comes with the sleeve, which is really nice touch. This is the background of the cover and it says thinking of you. It has some iridescent or like some, um, what do you call those? I forget what you call it, but you could see it. 
shining there. And it's really pretty. And I like the neutral tone. Oh, cool. What is that? So it comes with a little pamphlet. And I will need... Oh, this is a collaboration between Thinking of You and Mr. Eggplants Planner. Actually, this is only the second planner that they've created together. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So they've been doing this for a while. So ever since 2012. Cool. Man, I wish I would have started last year because I really like the way this one looks. Cover. But anyway, that's a cute pamphlet. I will be using that. So the way that this layout is, is that it provides oh, a space for you to write your name or a quote or anything you want to put here, maybe a picture. You get the future calendar and then another future calendar and then space for your resolutions, and then the current calendar year with space to write down birthdays, notes, um, appointments, meetings, anything in the future. And then they have even more space to write whatever. I haven't seen this being, uh, I haven't seen this used yet actually. I didn't know that they had a page like this. So that's pretty cool. And <laughs> another year at a glance, um, which reminds me more of the Hobonichi weeks. So they have a lot of room for however you want to maybe track certain, certain things in your planner. Okay, so then they go directly into December and you have room to write a list of things. And I think there's 12 circles here. There's even um, the days of the month at the bottom as well. A blank page with a quote and then the first month of the year. And they have four calendars at the bottom of the same month that I guess you could check off or use for tracking. And this paper is cream and it's has a little bit of texture to it. It's not overly smooth. And what I do like about this is how the calendar is vertical. So you're working top to bottom, the first part of the week on the left side and then the second part of the week or like the weekend on the right side of the page. And then you have room at the top to write down maybe um, your top, the top things you gotta do for the week or however you wanna use it. And then they do have some words in cursive on the edge of just about every week. And then the last week of the month or the last day of the month, they give you space to a blank page to maybe sum up your month. So in between January and February, they have four words to practice some calligraphy or just some hand lettering and then they get into the next month. So I really liked the fact that you could do some hand lettering. That's cool. And I do like how they give you a blank page. I think they do that every month. Yes. So pretty fun. This is definitely going to be uh, another fun planner. Um, just more for documenting and for just pleasing me and making me happy and being creative. So I hope you guys liked this 
quick unboxing video and if you have this planner let me know in the comments how you are using your thinking of you planner all right i will talk to you guys all in the next video and take care bye